You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow, would you look at that? The speed is virtually the same, but this one is hosted on a $2 a month plan from SiteGround, and this one's on a $17 a month plan from DreamHost. Okay, so what's going on here? How is this possible? Well, around 2020, SiteGround started making some significant changes to their web hosting platform. And if proven successful in the future, these changes could fundamentally shift the very foundation of easy to use commercial web hosting as we know it. The journey to this insane $2 plan started when SiteGround released their ultra fast PHP, making their sites use 15% less memory and improving loading times for users by around 30%. At the same time, they moved away from cPanel, which was like a third-party control panel to easily manage websites, which was integrated into pretty much every single web hosting provider at the time. So instead of cPanel, they've invested a lot of money and time to develop a better long-term solution, their native control panel called Site Tools. And this was extremely significant because in the upcoming years, cPanel has raised their prices by more than a thousand percent. And no, I'm not exaggerating. Web hosting providers literally went from paying $11 per license to paying up to $150 per license in some cases, having absolutely no choice but to offload some of this price increase to you, the customer. So promising to make web hosting faster, easier, and cheaper, SiteGround just kept adding features to its control panel, allowing users to perform complex website optimizations with a click of a button. Then they've added even more free features like a content delivery network, routing users through servers that are in another physical location, sometimes halfway across the world, to guarantee a fast browsing experience from any location. From my testing, these features don't automatically make your website state of the art, but on average, it does make the web development process a lot faster and you do get like a snappier, more responsive website as a result of that. And to top it all off, SiteGround even allows you to easily cache and compress content to improve your website's performance by dramatically reducing the amount of space visual content takes up without any severely noticeable losses in quality. This is of course good for them as well, because now they need less server space to store your site. A win-win situation. And they weren't done here. In the past years, they've introduced SiteGround Security, another free addition to every one of their hosting plans. It comes pre-installed with every single WordPress site, and if you're an all-time user of SiteGround, you can grab it for free from the plugin store. This helps you implement some of the best security practices. And remember, when it comes to online security, Best practice is prevention. SiteGround allows you to hide some of the most obvious and telltale signs that the website wasn't developed by a professional, discouraging people from attacking you in favor of more easily accessible victims. Great job. This is the type of a defense system that goes like, hey, you shouldn't be attacking me. I mean, that guy is way more vulnerable. But all of these tools packed into a single $2 plan make for some of the best managed WordPress hosting you can get in 2023. In the past three years, SiteGround's focus on the average consumer, delivering an easy and comprehensive website building and management tool, ensuring that everyone has easily available security and performance tools for free, to me, that seems like an absolute win, especially for us the consumers. At the beginning of this video, I've mentioned that if what SiteGround is doing is successful, they might change the landscape of commercial hosting. So how exactly is SiteGround changing the landscape of hosting? Well, what if web hosting providers do to hosting what ChatGPT did to writing, where you often get a better result faster if you let the machine do the work for you? SiteGround definitely feels like a hosting provider for those who have no idea what web hosting is and how websites work. And they don't care. They just need a website. Of course, the $2 a month price isn't really sustainable. And it's not exactly truthful. More about that in just a second, because other providers like DreamHost, A2 Hosting, WP Engine, or Flywheel offer their managed plans anywhere from $12 to $20 a month. So how is SiteGround doing this for $2? Well, 
The special price is because on March 16th, it was Sideground's birthday. They turned 19, so that's why you see the special price, $1.99. You can buy their plants for one year, and after that, it will renew at the regular price, which is $14.99, making the average price for two years $8.49. This is still pretty good compared to other managed plants since they also increase in price after the first term ends. Additionally, if you're overpaying for your current provider, you can grab a SiteGround plan during this promo and they will transfer your website completely free of charge. Now, the question is, do people like having a sandbox environment where they can do anything they want and the only limiting factor is their knowledge of web hosting? Or do they prefer a more streamlined process where almost everything is automated and they only need to worry about the content of their websites. This is for you to decide, but I can't pass up a good deal, so I've grabbed a plan for myself. You can visit uptime.emmetreviews.com to see every single web hosting plan I currently own, including this sideground plan, and run independent free tests yourself. My name is Emmet, thank you for watching, happy birthday sideground, and I'll see you in the next video.